welcome back everyone I'm Craven and this is Actraiser today today is the day that we are finally going to end this game and end the reign of evil by Tanzra if I remember that correctly but in the upcoming episodes getting here getting to the point of being able to defeat that final boss getting to his lair inside the uh, Island 3, which you will see in a moment. Uh, I got a few tips uh, on how to approach this. Of course, totally spoiler free, but a couple of things that I missed that I might want to get in order to enhance my chances of fighting against him. So, thank you. Uh, and those are literally like three lives. Problem is, one of those three extra lives I can't get anymore, because apparently if you get the compass and you use it at Fillmore, uh, you can get an extra life because people in Fillmore will start to uh, basically start fishing, deep sea fishing, and they will pick up a stone in the waters. But since we uh, used the compass here on Maranda, which I still think is needed to get to the bird, we do not have a chance to get to that uh, extra life. There are, however, two other ones that we can get, so let's unlock them. No, no. Let's unlock them before we continue on with the defeat of the Dark Lord. And the first one is over here, which I would have never thought of myself. However, we did talk about things like this, like using elements on a map that we haven't used there. This is exactly that case over here. Yes. So apparently if we use rain on the waters, we'll raise the water level and therefore, well, you will see. Let's check it out. Sir Craven, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Bloodpool have something to tell you. Oh, Master, the reason the rainfall has caused the lake to rise. The rising water revealed this strange jewel which was found on the lake shore. Please accept it as an offering. And that jewel is, of course. No, oh, no. I don't need to eat. I don't need to eat. Yes, I want the jewel. Alright, start with life. And getting these extra lives will, of course, help us defeat the final boss because more lives means more tries. And that is always good. And the last one is here in North Wall. Which is something that I would never even thought of trying. The rain part on Blood Pool in the water. That. That I might have tried. Eventually. This however. Not a thing. Uh, apparently. If we use our magical skills of thunder. On the specific building. We get Najul, and that is our own temple. Why the hell would I try to destroy my own temple? Yeah, but this is the thing we need to do here. Sir sure, Craven, I know it's unexpected, but our people in North will have something to tell you. I am very sorry, Master, but I have kept something from you. I found a strange jewel a few days ago, but didn't offer it to you, because I was so fond of it. I promise to never do something like that again. I present this jewel to you now as an offering, so please forgive me. So in short, he stole something from me. He found that jewel that will increase my life and my power, and he kept it from me. And that's why we uh, hit the temple with the lightning. Because he thought we were punishing him. We didn't know about that jewel. This was just a coinkidink. Okay, so take an offering. Right? 
Source of life. No. I have enough shit on my plate right now. Okay, let's use the offering. Do we automatically get it? We do, don't we? Uh, I just want to be sure. Mine's all over the place right now because I'm already thinking of how we are going to do the rush, which we are going to start right now at this moment because we got the two lives. The last one is not applicable anymore because we didn't don't have a compass. And I did try to get back to Blood Pool, wait there a bit, see if we could get a compass, but it never showed up again for me. So I'm guessing we only have that one uh, to give. And here it is. Deathheim. The layer of the end boss. This can technically go two ways. One, we defeat him. Of course, with the necessary death and destruction and things like that. Or we'll be defeated a multitude of times in order to get to them. Um, no matter how it goes, I will do my best and uh, the failage will stay in the footage. So we could be done in like 20 minutes, this could also last an hour. So my apologies if we get to that point of uh, the video. So let's uh, go back to our temple, select magic. I still don't know what this does. Let's see. You decide to take the magic light. With this magic, you can consume monsters with a ray of light from the sky palace. Okay. Yeah, this this sounds extremely powerful. We haven't used it yet. Uh, I say let's keep it. I was basically. Uh, deciding between two of them that is the fire because it's very directional to the side so it's very easy to aim and there are a couple of bosses that I know I can use it on I was hoping I'm getting a tip if I need to save my magic for the end boss in order to defeat it no one gave me that tip so I gotta assume that we can use magic and might be effective but We'll see how it goes, because we have like six lives now, and we need those to get through all bosses. And I'm pretty sure the last of them, the actual uh, Tanzra, is going to be very difficult. So I'm hoping to do it justice. All right. Enough uh, wondering, pondering. Trying to decide how to do this and just actually do it. Because we know what's gonna show up. We already saw it on the picture on the first episode. We're gonna it is going to be a boss rush. We're gonna meet all the bosses we fought before. Most of them we did in one go. But we used the magic to do so, and I want to save the magic as much as I can to get to the final form. The final boss of that boss rush. So, wish me luck. Let's go. This will be our last battle. All monsters will be completely eliminated from this world. Sir Craven, are you ready? No. But we are gonna do this anyway. May luck be with you. Into the swinger we go. I am so not ready for this. <laughs> Alright, let's start. Yeah, I'm just gonna rush it. Because with the six lives. I think we just need to take the damage and hopefully get past three bosses before we lo lose our first one and maybe end up with three lives at the final boss. Oh, 
And hopefully I will be able to use my magical light over there. Careful. Ooh, that's massive. Damn, just one hit? From Miss Wolf from just by standing here? Okay, that was fortunate. Alright, this is gonna be the next one. Don't be the Egypt one. Yes. Too far away. Oh, that went very bad. All right. First life lost. We can do this again. Hey, drop. Not so fast. Too bad. The one I am going to use magic on is the, going to be the Shiva boss uh, we found, and maybe the Ice Dragon, because those two just really, really got to me. Two cars are, are alive. Okay, so it's gonna, is it Shiva gonna be the next one? I think so, because only Shiva and the dragon left. So let's use the magic, or should we just let our life be gone? Because we don't have much life left. Calculated. <laughs> I'll just see what you do. Okay, that does shit damage. All right. Is the safest way to do this? If the pedestal does drop uh, too soon, too soon again. No, this one, this one is a drop. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, that's when I couldn't respond to. Get too close, probably, to the spikes. Well, we can get two hits out of this. Okay, one more. Oh, yes. Got him. Uh, Went better than I thought it was gonna be. 
Okay, so we got our Ice Dragon left. We're gonna use the magic there as well just to see how it works on him. But what I've seen so far with the Magical Light, I'm not impressed. Oh, it's gonna use all my magic if I want to feed him this way. Zero damage. Oh, this magic sucks so bad. If I had the Starfire, I might have been able to do it. Oh god, we're gonna die, are we? If I can't get two hits out of this. Come on, one. No, we're dead. Fudge. Uh, this is gonna be a difficult one. So I wanna save those three magics for the end boss itself. But I'm pretty sure now I might need to forfeit that ideology. Just to get an edge over him. Damn, why does it ice come so far? Okay, okay. Okay, it went okay, but I doubt I will have enough HP to do this there, but who knows? Maybe I'm perfect at that boss. Ooh, this is difficult. But I can already tell that this magic is not gonna help me here. There's any way to see how we can do this? First form. Uh oh. Huh, not bad. I think we did a lot of damage with just <laughs> to one point of my bar. All right. Is this doable? That went almost perfect. Let's see if we can do this here as well. I love we have this distance uh, with our sword because it will be. difficult but not too difficult I think the boss is leading up to him was actually more difficult than him himself the first form 
that's pretty easy to do perfect. The second form we just wail, wail, wail at him. Just shoot that beam straight up his ass. Just send it to him. Oh, we did it. Sir Craven, you have been a tireless master. With this, our current duties are complete. We have labor labored <laughs> long and hard to help our people become free. I do feel a bit of regret that they will on longer need our help. No longer spelling error. Uh, let's take one last look at each of the thriving towns we helped develop. Never mind the poor grammar, we love the thought of it. Aw, hello Fillmore. How you doing? This is Fillmore. Look how the people cleared and cultivated the land and constructed a prosperous town. Oh yes, one of the men of Fillmore has the ability to predict the future. His ability helped save Fillmore. He finally gave his life for his town. I'm sure he expected that final fate. Yeah, because he did predict the future, so of course he saw it coming. Uh, from birth, all people are guided by a force called destiny. Because people are unaware of their destiny, they may not understand all that life has to offer. The man who quietly accepts his destiny is also the one who becomes a great leader and person. Sorry, the speech is a little bit slow because the game is not faster with this text, but we want to give it to you. Alright, this is Bloodpool. The lake has already returned to its beautiful, beautiful blue color. Oh yes, there was an energetic boy named Teddy. Sir Craven and I are supposed to treat all people equal. Since he was such a likable young lad, he received m much of our attention. And also because the people in this town wouldn't work without Teddy being home. Oh, do you remember the people of Blackpool had to draw lots to decide who was to be sacrificed? It was because of Teddy that we decided to defeat the final boss. Without him, would have let those people die. I didn't tell you, but I knew whose lot was drawn. It was Teddy. This, this is the desert town of Casandora. Now, there is very little evidence of the once magnificent, massive, great desert. People say they were drawn into the pyramid by its magical powers. But should we believe this? The monsters living in the pyramid were nothing more than reincarnations of the human slaves who built that exact same pyramid. Their spirits remained drawing people's minds to the pyramid. Now. The pyramid is sealed and their souls saved. They will be reborn as humans being. Aww, that's a nice thought. This, this is the volcanic town of Eidos. I was so impressed by these people who tried to build homes, in spite of the continuous lava flow. Their leader passed from this life right before your very eyes. I am certain he dedicated his whole life to informing people of your 
existence. I hope Aitos will become a beautiful town, representation, representative of his great spirit. Yes, and we will not remember the time I used Earthquake to demolish all the homes of the people. Because we did it everywhere. It was like a coming of age ritual for every town. This is the jungle town Marana, home of the nice herb Marwana, which relaxed everyone. My, they have built so many homes on such a small island. I felt very sad when the town's two leaders were tempted by the wicked mirror. But human beings have a tendency to choose the easier way when faced with danger and difficulties. Having seen the people's weakness, I felt obligated to lead them into the right direction. Because we all know humans cannot be trusted to make the right decisions. So I, as the god, made it for them. Then, I'm becoming all high and mighty at the end of the game. Pretty nice choice just to end it there and to stay in the statue forever. Or until I needed it once again. This is the last of our lands, North Wall. I felt a little guilty about letting people live in such a cold climate. But they successfully overcame many, many problems. Their two leaders were telling us that when they found the two initials on the mighty tree, they felt a certain affection towards what or who had left the initials. I think those two leaders were sweethearts who had lived here a long time ago, but were killed by the monsters. Their spirits have since come to dwell in these bodies. If my story is correct, the sweethearts have finally reunited after all the long separation. Even though they don't remember, isn't it a beautiful story? Yeah, because you decide to remember like that, but yeah, I'll go with it because I love that story. This being so, it seems your people, as well as yourself, have had hard times, Sir Craven. Why don't we take a look inside the shrine? There is no one there. <laughs> In former times, people would call for you and ask for your help. As cultures and lands become more advanced, do people tend to forget us? <laughs> and those who help them? But then, people may be most happy when we're not in need of help from their masters or when they have forgotten him. Should we yearn for a time when people will no longer need to ask for our help? No, I want to be worshipped, damn it! <laughs> Let's uh, put an earthquake somewhere on this land to remind them we are still there. Such a big ocean, isn't there? And that's it you guys, this is officially the end of our Act Razor playthrough. I have to say, I liked it. I've be Over the years I've become a lot better platform player than I thought I was. Because I think, and this is my opinion, uh, please rectify me if you have a totally different opinion. I think I did okay on the platform sections, surprisingly. And... Uh, yeah, I'm happy we have finished this actually in one go with our lives that we have. So it's a pretty fun uh, game after all. Having the whole uh, simulation, the platforming, the boss fights. For an old game like this, 
it's pretty diverse actually, so yeah. Well done, Quintet, well done. But I am a fan of fan of their games. I do love uh, Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, Terra Enigma, Grand Stream Saga, all those games. Which I hope eventually to be all playing them on my channel as well. But yeah, this is a good one. So if you have the chance, try it out for yourself. Do the platform sections, raise the towns and defeat the evil ones after every completion of the town. And of course, the end of the game. You will not be disappointed. And of course, as always, when we uh, end a playthrough of a game, if you have any suggestion of any game you want me to play in the future, give me any suggestions, post them in the comment section below this video and I will put them on the suggested list. For now, the suggested list is in our channel description and on our Discord server, so you can always check them there out if it's already there. And if I see a suggestion multiple times, I will put uh, multiple ticks after the suggestion as an indicator that people really want to see those games. Yes. But for now, we are done. I'm gonna close it off. So thank you all for watching. And of course, if you've been here from the beginning of the series, an extra thanks to you. Do appreciate the support. And I hope to see you again on one of my other series. But until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye bye.